Hummingbirds are some of the most amazing creatures to inhabit our planet Earth. They are the smallest warm-blooded animals in the world, yet at the same time are some of the fastest, most energetic, and most intriguing. Because most hummingbirds live their life in fast forward, we miss out on much of their fascinating world. But with high-speed cameras and patience, we can finally see and appreciate the wonderful world of hummingbirds. Although small, hummingbirds are incredibly fast. This is a female Anna's hummingbird. It can achieve a top speed of 61 miles per hour. Slowed down 10 times, the hummingbird speed becomes easier to see. Its aerial agility becomes even more impressive when measured with the unit of body length per second. This unit dramatically changes the rankings of the fastest animals. For example, the cheetah only runs at 16 body lengths per second. However, the Anna's hummingbird's top speed translates to an astonishing 385 body lengths per second the highest of any vertebrate on the planet. To put this in perspective, a fighter jet at top speed only travels at 39 body lengths per second. If humans ran at 385 body lengths per second, they would be traveling at 1,500 miles per hour. The hummingbird accomplishes this amazing feat by beating its wings almost 80 times per second. As a result, hummingbirds have flying heart rates upwards of 1,000 beats per minute, the maximum recorded being 1,260 beats per minute with a resting heart rate of 250 beats per minute. Now, let's see this Anna's hummingbird again slow down even more, so that one second in real life would last for a full minute. As you can see, their wing movement is not the back and forth flapping of most birds. Instead, hummingbirds move their wings in a figure eight motion. This technique allows the hummingbird to hover and fly backwards. The ability to hover is one of the most important abilities of the hummingbird. Hovering is the only way hummingbirds can remain in place while feeding from flowers. Hummingbirds feed on the nectar from flowers. They hover or perch in front of the flower and insert their long thin beak into the flower, lapping up the nectar with their long tongue. In order to fuel their rapid metabolism, the highest of any warm-blooded animal, hummingbirds must consume 1.5 to 3 times their weight each day mostly from nectar, but occasionally supplemented by insects and spiders. Even this is not enough to fuel a full day of flying, and as such, hummingbirds generally spend most of the day perching. Despite this, hummingbirds are constantly hours away from starvation, and can only store enough energy to survive overnight. To prevent energy reserves from falling below critical levels during the night, this male Anna's hummingbird is fluffing out its feathers and entering a deep hibernation-like state known as torpor. While in torpor, its body temperature will fall from 104 degrees Fahrenheit to 64 degrees Fahrenheit, and its heart rate will drop to around 100 beats per minute. A few hours before dawn, triggered by its circadian rhythm, this hummingbird will be awakened from torpor by the hormone corticosterone. Hummingbirds have co-evolved with certain species of flowers over thousands of years. The hummingbird's beak is specialized to drinking nectar from deep within the flower and its ability to hover allows it to remain in place while drinking. The long beak allows the hummingbird to reach deep within the plant to access the nectar. The tongue is made of small tubes that open and close to trap the nectar and bring it back to the hummingbird's mouth. The hummingbird also acts as an important pollinator for plants, similar to bees. They are excellent pollinators because they must visit many plants throughout the day in order to drink enough nectar. Many plants have evolved to solely rely on hummingbirds as pollinators. To prevent competition for pollen and nectar, the hummingbird pollinated flowers do not reflect the near ultraviolet light that insect pollinated flowers do, rendering these flowers nearly invisible to insects. Hummingbirds play an important role in their ecosystem. Although hummingbirds do not provide a large source of nutrients, they are still hunted by certain animals. Domestic and feral cats are known to attack and eat hummingbirds, especially at feeders. Praying mantids are also known to attack hummingbirds, also often waiting at feeders. Hummingbirds are also prone to death by pathogens and parasites. This hummingbird is cleaning itself off with dewdrops to rid itself of parasites, dirt, and pollen that accumulate on its feathers. Ancestral hummingbirds probably split from insectivorous swifts about 42 million years ago, 
most likely in Eurasia. The primary evolutionary cause for this appears to be a modified taste receptor that caused the hummingbirds to taste and seek nectar. Recent evidence suggests that this gene may be a modification of the gene that made dinosaurs crave flesh. Around 22 million years ago, the hummingbird became established in South America. Here, mountain uplift of the Andes created new environments, leading to adaptive radiation and diversification. There are now over 300 extant species of hummingbirds, all of them located in the Americas. Their varied and unique adaptations are inspiring research ranging from better drone technology to a better understanding of the evolution of birds themselves. In backyards across the Americas, birdwatchers flock to witness the aerial performances of these beautiful birds.